This controls the translation of the robotic arm. We have a pretty special opportunity here to show you a, a unique view of the robotic arm. Okay, hey everyone. Uh, yesterday we had the opportunity to catch the Orbital One Cygnus vehicle, also known as C. Gordon Fullerton. And I'm going to take the opportunity today to talk about the controls that we use for the robotic arm. And so we're actually down in the cupola right now, and this is where we control the robotic arm when we go out and we grapple one of these vehicles, like the Cygnus vehicle that we did yesterday. And so this is the control station, and what you see over here on my left. This controls the translation of the robotic arm. And then over here we have rotational control. And then this middle computer is where we actually take the, the robotic arm into the different modes that we do have. And then on our left over here we have a, a control panel for the various monitors. So what we're doing when we're grappling is I'm watching on this monitor a uh, basically a target on the vehicle and I've got an overlay on it that allows me to line up the robotic arm with that vehicle and I just drive right in. Now I wanted to take advantage today though because we have a pretty special opportunity here to show you a, a unique view of the robotic arm. And so if we look out one of the cupola windows here, you can actually see the end effector of the robotic arm. And we don't get a chance to look at this view very often. In fact, today we were doing an inspection on, uh, on the end effector. And so if you look in the middle, you can see those cables. Those are what we call the snares. And when we go over the pin that's on the vehicle and I pull a trigger, it causes those, those uh, cables, those snares, to close around that pin. And that's how we grapple onto uh, a vehicle. And actually you can see up above as well, there's, that's the camera that is giving us that view. And that's a pretty unique view for us. And so just wanted to share that with you.